Uh, one of that uh, income, uh, still not done piece of action could well be the one-time spectrum charge. I hear it's coming up on the 17th of November with the Supreme Court. Are you hopeful hearing the telecom minister that that too will be decided in your favor? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, these are things which are very complicated and complex. Um, I know which way uh, this cookie crumbles. All I would say is uh, there is a TD shared judgment which has been challenged by the operators and challenged by the department. And uh, some decision must be done soon. In the AGR matter, the only regret that I may say I would have is that I wish we had lost this case at the first instance. We would have paid some two, three thousand crores and be done with it. Having won the case in TDSAT once and again through a reference back by the Supreme Court, partially again, uh, we were, as you know, slammed by a massive uh, amount of money which had to be paid, which was, to my mind, spine-breaking uh, for one of the operators and uh, crippling for uh, even Airtel. Very large amounts had to be paid. So, therefore, cases must be settled expeditiously and cases which have gone in favor of the industry, if they turn around uh, to go against us, the penalties, the interest of these all these long 10, 12 years uh, should then be seen in a more sympathetic uh, way to my mind. So in the case of OTSC, whatever decision has to be taken should be taken. But I may, uh, you know, through this medium, remind everyone that this was, uh, uh, you know, government action at that time where they woke up to a price discovered many years later uh, to then charge, the, charge it retrospectively. It's like going into a restaurant, you read the menu, place the order of the dishes, and then at the end of the meal, when you have had a good, nice meal, the restaurant says, no, we've changed our rates now. You have to pay a much higher price. This is as simple as that. But it's subjudice. It's in the courts now. Mm -hmm. The government has to take a decision. The courts have to hover on it. So we just bow our head and wait for the decision. Mm -hmm. You spoke about 4G, but that's history now. 5G is coming up, and very soon you'll have to fork out many of those billions that you spoke about again for 5G spectrum. I mean, so far, the industry's response to 5G, the reserve prices have been very lukewarm. But by how much do you think they need to be shaved off for them to be meaningfully attractive to players like you? Because come February, you'll be on the auction table again. Well, we are, you know, Airtel has been taking a lead in 5G. We have tested networks ahead of other uh, competitors. We have tied up with Tata to do our, uh, you know, domestic uh, Indian stack. We are a part of the ORAN alliance. We are trialing out uh, the ORAN networks. A lot of work is going on, very silent work is going on in preparation for us to be in, in time ready for the 5G launches. Yes, Spectrum auctions are coming. I'm glad the DOT has sent back the reference for the uh, 5G Spectrum back to TRAI. The life of the Spectrum has been in future increased from 20 to 30 years. Spectrum usage charges for future have been taken away. And I'm just hoping that TRI will finally see uh, what can 5G do for our country, not in terms of raising more money for the exchequer, but the spin-off benefits it can have for the digital dream that our prime minister, our nation, uh, has for uh, you know, expectations they have from our industry. So to my mind, therefore, a sensible pricing recommendation for reserve price is most important. There are not too many buyers now. There are three private operators who have to participate in the auction. There's enough uh, spectrum av available. Unlike the wars of 2010 for spectrum, when we were much starved for getting spectrum, all the renewals that came up later on, which almost killed and decimated the industry, I think the situation is very different. If the spectrum pricing remains high, we will not be able to buy spectrum. We should not be buying expensive spectrum. We'd rather put more money into the networks, more fiber, more radios, more networks, go into rural areas, serve the communities, rather than buying expensive spectrum. So I'm hoping this time around uh, the TRA recommendations will be rational.